Hey everybody, it's Tom Scarella. It's too cold outside to videotape out there. Whew, man, oh man. Um, hey, just had a great time of uh, ministry and uh, ministering to the sick. You're going to love this video. Uh, we just had some great miracles, both in church as well as on the streets. And just God, do, just saw God do some really, really cool stuff, minister to some people and Man, I'm telling you what, people are really hurting and they just need someone just like you that'll reach out to them and to go to them and, and just be able to just be willing to be bold and to step out of your comfort and 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 just really be willing to to step out and be, get to know somebody that you don't know at all. And so unfortunately, so many people, they, they, they really just don't have a, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. It's like they just... They just won't step out of their comfort. They just, you know, they only stay in their little zone of friends and anyone outside of that. It's like they, it's almost like they lock up and and that doesn't need to be you. The Bible says the wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. So today, why don't you do that? Why don't you just be bold as a lion? You know, the characteristic of the righteous is that we're bold. So if we're bold, then that boldness, you know, you don't need to be bold in church, <laughs> okay? Boldness is only needed when you're outside of your group of believer friends. So that's where you need boldness. You need boldness in the face of adversity. You need boldness towards, you know, when the enemy is tormenting somebody or somebody's bound or something like that. You need boldness when... You are stepping out in an area where, you know, in the natural, it doesn't feel normal. You understand? And and that's where you need boldness. That's where you walk in boldness. You don't walk in boldness by singing about it, about preaching about it, about shouting about it. Boldness is only uh, used in the face of opposition. So just remember that today. Enjoy this video. I think you're really going to be blessed by it. I think it'll really touch your heart. Watch this. <laughs> All right, who else is ready? You ready, girl? Come to, well, we'll do you second, but I think. Okay. <laughs> All right, just kneel down. Just kneel down. It'll make it easier for us. All right. Tell us what it's about. Yeah. It's about reiterating. Okay. Give us a short sermon. It talks about how you're dying yes. to the old nature. And that's going to be dead and buried, and you're coming out resurrected in yes. Christ when you like. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, mm -hmm. it'll be, it'll be. Jesus' name, the Bible talks about that. We baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so, right now, we do that on your profession of faith in Jesus' name. So, die with Christ, raise with Christ. <laughs> Okay, so this is, you're going to die with Christ, you're going to bury the old, what's your name again? Brittany. Brittany, you're going to bury the old Brittany, and you're going to be raised in your life. Yeah. So we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Woo! In Jesus' name. Woo! Amen. Your professional faith, we're going to baptize you. You're going to die, but you have new life. Yes, come on. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Come on. Amen. 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 So you're going to die, Sam. Right now, you're, the old Sam's going to die, and you're going to be raised a new life. With God. So we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, Sam. Yay. Yeah. I don't want to be Sam, but I don't want to get so. Careful. Go for it, girl. Uh-oh. Okay, so all of us are going to die. Yes. We're going to rise with Christ with brand new life. Yes. Old man buried now. In Jesus' name right now. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Fill her tonight with your spirit. Amen. So the old you is going to die, and you'll be raised to new life. So we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus. 
Touch your filler, okay, Lord. <laughs> Go for it. So Holy says, Bob, to die and be buried with Christ and go back to a new, brand new life. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I won't be intrusive, so this is, my name is, this is Tom, and you are? Mark. Mark, good yeah. to meet you. Okay, well, I'm just going to pray for you right yeah. now in the name yeah. of Jesus, Mark, that your heart right now, yes. that uh, blood pressure would go back to normal. Yes. All the uh, inflammation and all the damage yeah. done to the heart may be healed. Yes. God, thank you right now for a creative miracle in Mark's body. Thank you, Lord, that he'll feel a visible difference in strength yeah. today. In Jesus' name, bless Amen. him and his family Amen. as well. Thank you. Uh -oh. What's your name? Natalia. Nata you're Italian? Portuguese. Portuguese. Portuguese, Portuguese. close. Okay. <laughs> so, so what was wrong with your ears? Uh, I don't know. That's too, uh, too long. Yeah. And you were healed tonight? Yes. She was healed. So God healed her ears. So if God healed her ears, He can heal you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Woo awesome. All right. I pray that really blessed you. You know, like I said before, boldness is something that God really wants to challenge the church to begin to step into and and uh, to step out of your comfort zone, right? And in so doing, it just something happens on the inside of you every time that you walk in boldness. Uh, whenever you minister to people, uh, begin to minister with boldness. Wherever you go, I just challenge you today. You know what? Start with some small steps. Start with some small steps. Start with just stepping out and just being willing to just talk to somebody who uh, you don't know. You know, because you hear that voice in your head. Now, some of you you know, you're so worried about what will people think? What will people think? What will people think? You know what? It's like a friend of ours said it like this. You're letting people live rent free in your head and you're not collecting anything for it. Okay. It's kind of a funny way to say you're so worried about what people think. And you're letting them live in your thoughts. Stop letting people live in your thoughts and uh, uh, not collect rent from them. <laughs> Just kind of a funny way to do it. But hey, huge favor to ask of you guys. Right below me, click like uh, and forward it to your friends. I pray it blesses somebody else. As well as if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, right below us, click subscribe. You can click that little bell as well. Uh, it would be right below me here. And if you click that, you'll be notified every time we have a brand new video that comes out, okay? And I pray this video blesses you. Walk in boldness today. Don't walk in fear. Okay, the two are in total opposite with each other. And as you walk in boldness, you get confidence. Confidence grows as you step in boldness. Love you guys. Bless you. Also, don't forget, go to our website, sharethefire.org. You can get tons of free resources there, all right? Bless you. Love you guys. Take care. <laughs>